ends up losing a game or two in September, but now this time around, you guys get through the month undefeated and get off to, I guess, what people would say, fast start. Just what does it mean to be at this point now, being four and zero, looking ahead? Uh, I mean, it feels great. Um, we've, we've had a scare though. I mean, the first couple, first couple games, we we may have played good against Iowa State, but D line we didn't look too good. Um, you and I. Uh, we won the game, but it wasn't it wasn't really pretty. Uh, we and we, we knew that if we kept on going like this this season, we weren't going to win that many games at all. So uh, I mean, it was close. It was probably good to have those scares. Now we're ready. To, we're rolling a little bit. Uh, we got a little momentum going up. Uh, we got a little tempo going in practice, and we're just going to keep that going. Um, knowing that is what's going to keep us moving. When you talk about those scares. Is that is that something that I guess kind of motivates you this week when you prepare for a team like Arkansas State? Uh, I don't think it motivates us for for Arkansas State. It just motivates us on, on keeping on keeping our practice moving. I mean, we, we weren't really moving that that well in practice. We weren't doing what we need to do in practice. And after those two after those two games, we pretty much started picking up tempo. We, we said, hey, this is what we need to do in practice. We need to practice like you know the, the old D line, like the Mitch Kings and the Matt Coles and the Jonathan Babinos who come in every day and practice and run to the ball. And we weren't doing that the first two seasons. Two did you guys games. did you guys have a meeting? Did you guys? Did, uh, I mean, not a team meeting, like a defensive line. Yeah, meeting. a D line meeting. When we came, up, I, I uh, pulled Adrian and Broad aside, said, "Hey, you know, let's just drive our guys three yards in the backfield and then spit to the ball." I mean, I think you know, all of us, we're, we're really, I think, really talented players as a group, as individuals, but we weren't playing as a group. Uh, we were kind of just trying to make plays out there, trying to do too much. And I think now we're trying to, you know, to work as a group and try to, you know, play the defense. And I think that's what we're working for pretty well right now. Is that uh, uh, so? You guys were not happy with what, what you're in the first two two weeks. You oh, said, yeah, definitely. No, we weren't happy at all. I mean, 190 yards against Iowa State. I mean, and we were just letting way too much happen against you and I. That's not something you're used to either, because Iowa, I don't think, is allowed like a five yard average. Of a long time. Oh, very long time, man. It was very disappointing to watch on, uh, on film. Um, I would say it's a good team. Uh, they have a lot, of, a lot of talent in the backfield, but we were just weren't, we weren't doing our jobs at all. Has anything about the transition to tackle surprised you during games? I mean, it's different than practice. Uh, I think probably one of the most. I mean. A lot, of, a lot of things that really surprised me is uh, number one the movement inside, and also when you're when you're in there, you can't hear anything. I mean, you gotta really know the defense. Uh, there's a lot of people that's calling out different games, they're calling out uh, different stunts during during the plays going on. And you gotta be really, in fo you gotta be focused and ready to go. I mean, sometimes you don't even hear them, so you really gotta get in there, study film, and know what's gonna happen before it even happens. Is this? Are you guys feel sort of the? You guys have become sort of like a. I don't know the energy for a lot of what the team's doing now. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, the D-line in past years has always been that. I mean, you look last year, uh, uh, Mitch and Matt, they picked the team up in a lot of games. I mean, it was a pretty good game. Uh, you see that Broderick with that, with that pick almost. Uh, mm -hmm. and you got a, a call with that goal line stand in the Penn State game. I mean, the D-line has been like a, a lot of the energy. It starts up front. Uh, we try, if we, if we do well, the team's going to do well. And that's what we pride ourselves on.